Are you looking for this kind of poster design? In this video, I'll teach you step-by-step -step how to create a concert poster design. Just make sure to watch this video until the end and don't skip any parts so you won't miss anything in this tutorial. Let's get started. First, open Canva and search for poster. Then, you'll see create blank at the bottom, just click on it. Next, I searched for a background. The design I wanted was a purple and pink background with a slightly dark tone. You'll find a lot of options here, so just scroll until you find the one you like. Then, let's add some text. I added the event's date to make it clear what's happening on that day. For the font, I chose Horizon because it's bold and gives an expanded text style. I selected a bright color to ensure it stands out, even with our main subject placed later. After that, go to Effects and choose the Neon effect. Then adjust the intensity. Right-click and duplicate the text. Go to Effects again and choose the Hollow effect. Then adjust the thickness. Move it. Then go to the position, click the two texts and right-click. Group the text and duplicate it twice. Then just move the text until you achieve the proper alignment for each one. Now upload the image of our main subject. Just resize it and place it in the correct position. Go to position and move it to the top. Next, on the left side, click on Apps and search for Image Blender. Click this, then you will see this logo, then click it. Blend selected image. Here, I adjusted the subject to make sure the image doesn't look split. Just move the two dots to achieve the right blend for your main subject image. I did this to make the edges of the image look cleaner. Once you're satisfied, save it and it will be applied automatically. Just move it again to a proper position where everything is balanced. Let's add more text to make the poster design more detailed. Add the effects you like to the text. I used a different font here, specifically the Abramo font, to make the word live stand out more. Just resize it, and I applied a different color here to match the color scheme of the poster design we're creating. Let's just adjust the intensity of the neon effects. It's up to you to decide the level of intensity you want to apply to your text. Just move it again to a proper position. Go back to apps and search for type gradient. In this app, you'll discover a variety of different effects like this type gradient effect. That's why on my channel, I have plenty of tips in Canva that I can share with you. Select this logo. For the main text, type the word music. Scroll down and in gradient colors, choose the colors you want, tap to add more colors or change the current selection and make sure that the colors you choose align with the theme you're working on. That's why I chose pink, purple and at the bottom, a dark color and adjust the position. Just use these two dots to move the colors you've selected. Carefully choose how to blend the colors so they stand out against your background. It's important that we learn how to blend colors, especially when creating designs like this. Once you're happy with it, click Add to Design. Just resize it, and there you have a nice text with gradient color. Position the word music in the center so that the theme of your poster is immediately understood. This is the main title for the event. Then, go to the position and place it just below the word live. Then, always check all the text like this. Add text again and type performance. Click on spacing and adjust the letter spacing. You'll notice at the bottom of our concert poster design, there's a large space where we'll place other details. Here, I always check the balance of each element. For example, the letter spacing of the word performance. I'll align it with the word music. This kind of design is better simple but unique. 
Next, go to the search bar and type frame. Then press enter, scroll down, and you'll find many frame designs to choose from here. I wanted to add another design around the text, and this is the design I chose. Adjust it accordingly. As I mentioned earlier, balance is crucial in the design you create. So, once we add elements to our design, make sure everything is well adjusted and balanced. Since this is a concert poster, we need to include other details. Let's add some text again for the date. What I'll input here is just an example for this tutorial. Then, the font I chose is Archivo Black, so even if the text is small, it will be visible because it's a bold font. This depends on the poster you're creating and what additional details you'll include. In this tutorial, I'm only showing what should be added and how to choose the right effects and fonts. Especially for smaller text, it should be readable and visible using the right colors and fonts. You just need a bit of style to make it look creative, even with a simple design. Before we continue with this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Let's go back to Canva. Another tip. If you want to repeat text with effects, right-click and you'll have many options to choose from. One of this is Duplicate. What I'm doing here is just adjusting each text for more detail. There are many tools to choose from in Canva. Another tip. When it comes to the background where you'll place text, I advise not to add to many designs. This way, the text itself stands out and is easily readable. Then, here I added the location where the event will take place. This is one of the most important elements in creating a concert poster design. Resize it and move it to a good position. It's up to you where to place it. In my case, I just placed it below the time for a simple design. Next, I added a shape to create a partition for the details at the bottom. Then, just resize it to make it look like a line for partition. I added this because its purpose is to separate the date from the time. Any details should have their own positions. These are simple tips for designing this kind of poster. And here, I just changed the color of the line. It shouldn't be too bright because it's not the main focus of the poster. This will only serve as a partition for our details. And of course, don't forget to include an invitation for the audience. This is very important, so make sure to style it a bit. Then, choose a different font for this. What I did here is placed it at the top because I want the text to be small but still have a dark background, making it easily readable. Then, I just added a circle for marks on the text. Since it's small, just zoom in so it's easier to resize. For this text, we're emphasizing that they need to attend and join the concert. Once you're satisfied, just zoom out. I also added a rough background to balance the dark colors at the top and bottom. Just scroll again, and you'll find many other background designs to choose from. Once you've selected the design, just click it and resize it. Since this design is for the background, go to the position and drag it down. Since our design has a dark background, we'll choose a color that complements it. After selecting the color you want, just move it to the appropriate position. And there you have it. We now have a concert poster design. It's very simple and easy to create. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell button so you're always updated with my latest tutorial videos.